let us now solve problems involving the analysis of dams. So we have a concrete dam retaining water is shown if the specific weight of the concrete is 23.5 kN per cubic meter. Find the factor of safety against sliding, the factor of safety against overtraining, and the pressure intensity on the base. Assume there is this hydrostatic uplift that varies uniformly from full hydrostatic head at the heel of the dam to zero at the toe, and the coefficient of the friction between dam and foundation is 0 0.45. So to solve this problem, first thing to do is we draw the free body diagram. So first is we cut it into portions. So as shown, so next is we identify all the uh, forces involved. So we have the uh, horizontal component of the hydrostatic uh, pressure which is uh, HP away from the free liquid surface. Then we also have the weight of this uh, part or portion. So we have W sub 1 and the distance from uh, the toe up to W1 is we have X sub 1. So next is we have the uh, weight of this uh, triangle which is W of 2. So the distance of W sub 2 from the toe is represented as X sub 2. And also we have this bottom part. So we have W3 which is uh, the distance from the toe up to W3 is X sub 3. And last is we have the vertical component of the hydrostatic uh, force. So uh, it is represented as F sub Y. And the distance from toe up to Fy is we have X sub 4. So take note that uh, we will only be uh, considering F sub y if we have the weight of the fluid in contact with the uh, with the dam okay so also we have the uh, hydrostatic uplift which is measured from heel to toe so the equivalent uh concentrated load or the resultant of the hydrostatic uplift is represented as U and the distance from U up to the toe is X sub 5. So let's just follow the steps or procedures on uh, the analysis of gravity dumps. So for step 1, we have Assume 1 meter length of the dam perpendicular to the cross-section. Then, step 2, determine the forces acting. So, first is for the horizontal forces. So, we, we only have the horizontal component of the total hydrostatic force, which is F sub X. And it is equals to the specific weight times H bar times the area. So, the specific weight of the liquid is the specific weight of water which is 9.81 kN per cubic meter and the location of centroid so we have it acts at the midpoint of since the shape of the surface is rectangular so we have uh, 14 divided by 2 is 7 meters times the area of the plane surface which is uh, 14 times 1. So the vertic I mean the horizontal component is equal to 961.38 kilonewtons. So next is for the vertical forces. So we have so we have F sub y is equal to the specific weight of water 
times the volume of this portion. So the volume of this portion is we have the height which is 11 meters, 14 minus 3 is 11 times the width which is 3 meters times the length which is 1 meter. So the vertical component of the total hydrostatic force is equal to 323.73 kilonewtons. So next is the weight of this portion or W sub 1. So W sub 1 is equals to the specific weight of the concrete times V sub 1 or the volume of this portion. So the specific weight of concrete is 23.5 kN per cubic meter and volume of V1 is uh, the height which is 18 minus 3, 15 times the length, or I mean the width, is 4 meters times the length, 1 meter. So weight, or W, w sub 1 is equals to 1,410 kN. So next is for W sub 2. So the weight of this triangular uh, shape, we have W sub 2 is equals to the, spe the specific weight of the concrete times V sub 2. So, the specific weight of the concrete is 23.5 times the area of this triangle which is 0 0.5 times uh, the height is 8 meters. I mean the base is 8 meters times the height is 12 meters times its length which is 1 meter. So, the result is 1,128 kilonewtons. So next is for W sub 3. So W sub 3 is equal to the specific weight of the concrete times the volume of this portion. So the volume of this portion is equal to, so the specific weight is 23.5 times the volume which is 15 times 3 times the length 1 meter. So W3 is equal to 1,500, I mean 1,057.5 kilonewtons. Then for the hydrostatic uplift, so to determine the hydrostatic uplift, we have, we just get the specific weight, so we use the specific weight of water times the volume of this uh, triangular region. So the height of this triangular region is the same as the depth of the fluid. So we have 9.81 kN per cubic meter times the area which is 0 0.5 times the base which is 15 times the height which is 14. So like I said a while ago, the height of this hydrostatic uplift is just equal to the depth of the surface or, th or the depth of the liquid. So the result is 1030.05 kilonewtons. And also, we have to uh, locate the locations for the forces involved. So to determine the location of the Fx, so we apply the formula for uh, HP. So, H sub P is equals to the H bar plus I bar over AH bar. So, H bar is 7 plus, so we have a rectangular shape of the plane surface which is, for the formula for the moment inertia is BH cube over 12. So, that's why we have 1 meter as its base times its height is 40, 14 raised to 3 over 12 times the, the area which is 14 times 1 times h bar is 7 meters. So hp is equal to 9.33. Then for x1, so x of 1 is equal to 10 meters. So it is just, uh, so the distance of, I mean x1 is the distance between uh, tau and w sub 1. So since uh, since this uh, the base of the triangle is eight meters 
plus uh, the, the midpoint or the centroid of this rectangular uh, region is 2 meters. So we have 8 plus 2 which is 10 meters. Then for x sub 2, so x sub 2 we, we will just get the centroid of this triangle which is 2 third from the toe. So 2 third times 8 is 5.33. Then for x sub 3, so x sub 3 is equal to the center of gravity of this uh, rectangular region. So we have 15 divided divided by 2 which is 7.5 for x sub 4 so we have we have since uh, the the width of this region is 3 meters so 15 so 15 minus 1.5 so the location of the centroid here is 1.5 so 15 minus 1.5 which is 13.5 meters and last is for the location of the hydrostatic uplift which is uh, which is also a triangle so so we apply the formula for the centroid uh, for triangle which is 2 third times the base so we have 2 third times 15 which is 10 meters so after solving for the forces involved as well as its location so let us now solve for the reactions so for the so the reaction is somewhat here so we assume that the the location of reaction is at, at, at this point so to determine the horizontal reaction rx so we have summation of forces along the horizontal axis which is equal to zero we assume a uh, positive going to the right so we have so rx is just equals to S fx which is equals to 961.38 then for the vertical reaction so we have f sub v or the summation of forces on the vertical axis is equals to 0 then we take a positive for upward forces so we have r sub y so r sub y plus the hydrostatic uplift u so equals to w sub 1 plus w sub 2 plus w sub 3 plus f of y so the the magnitude of the vertical component of the reaction is equal to 200 i mean 2889.18 kilonewtons the next step is solve for the moments about the toe so like i said a while ago so to determine the writing moment it is just the sum of all moments towards the uh, towards the upstream side so it is just so we have so we have w sub 1 times x sub 1 okay plus w sub 2 times x sub 2 so you can notice that their rotation is towards the upstream side so the plus w sub 3 times x sub 3 plus f sub y times x sub 4 so substituting all the given values the result will be the writing moment is equal to 32413.85 kilonewtons meter then for the overturning moment so overturning moment is the sum of all moments towards the downstream side so 
So for the overturning moment, we have f of x times its moment arm which is 14 minus hp. Plus also for the hydrostatic uplift, so a hydrostatic uplift, uh, uplift uh, produces uh, overturning moment. So we have up, uh, uplift times x sub 5. So, substituting all the given values, the overturning moment is equals to 14,790.15 kilonewton meter. So, step 5 is we locate the location of Ry measured from the toe. So, we'll just, formul we'll just use the formula for x bar which is equals to the writing moment minus the overturning moment over Ry. So, let's substitute all the given values. The result is x bar is equal to 6.1. So, measured from the toe. So, to determine the factor of safety. So, factor of safety against sliding is equal to this, the coefficient of friction times Ry over Rx. So, the coefficient of friction is 0 0.45 times your Ry times your Rx, I mean over Rx. So the factor of safety is, equal, is equals to 1.35. Then, for the factor of safety against overturning, we have the writing moment divided by the overturning moment. So, substituting all the given values, so writing moment is 32,413.85 over the overturning moment is equals to 14,790.15. So the result is 2.19. So as you can notice, both are safe from uh, breaking or failing.